Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing everyone? We're back at it with the bugs and we figured we'd point something out for those unlucky enough to find their plants infested with bugs. So, get in here and we'll tell you the one thing you need to know about all IPM products. If you've been paying attention to how things have been going for this season, uh, well, <laughs> it's been kind of rough. I swear, the knowledge that's in our heads is not reflected very well this go around. We swapped our equipment for a smoother perpetual grow, but come to find out, even this would have a few learning experiences to throw at us, including an invisible shadow off to the side of our dehumidifier. If there was a light directly above, we didn't notice that to the right side of the dehumidifier, there was a quote unquote shadow of sorts. So it looked fully illuminated, but when we check things out with our EPAR meter by Apogee, and if you haven't watched our episode on PAR or what we're looking at with this meter, we'll put the links in the description we noticed that there was a drastic difference in the intensity of the light as you move the sensor closer to the side of the dehumidifier. We could then obviously see further away was closer to 350 PPFD, but once you cross the point where the light from the FCE 8000, or the majority of it, was cut off from the view and thus was much dimmer in the spots closest to the dehumidifier. In the end, it was our current season, our double grape by Mephisto and peanut butter cookies by Taste Buds that showed us our lights were on too bright. Of course. <laughs> Small stunted plants, dark green in color, why? Because the intensity of the light was causing an increase in the plant's metabolic activity as well as producing and releasing more H2O as a byproduct. Uptaking more water means uptaking more newts, and add to this an already smaller plant because it was stunted, that now needs less nutrients than a full-size plant. And you can kind of see why it looks pushed, because it is. In the end, it was a simple fix that meant repositioning the dehumidifier and balancing the lights again, this time with success. So, lights are back down, but that's not the only lesson we've had to learn this season. Come to find out, our double grape and peanut butter cookie season was also set to teach us a thing or two about pests. For one, doing nothing and just hoping not to get any bugs may work in the beginning, like it did for us. But in the end, it is only a matter of time before something will inevitably wander into your tents. This isn't through any fault of your own, but that said, rather than ignoring the reality until it's a problem, we've since shifted our priorities to include a preventative IPM, or Integrated Pest Management System. Just like the name says, IPM is a form of pest management that is ingrained into the growing practice in order to prevent pests. Most people simply treat based on the case and insect sense. After all, treatments can vary from pest to pest, including foliar sprays, soil drenches, or using evolution to solve the problem. As you guys know, this season started in a pretty poor germination rate and stunted vegetative process, thanks to larvae of the typical household flea, feasting on our brand new baby taproots. Getting on the plant this early obviously does considerable more damage than if it were to infest a mature and established plant. But how can you protect a root from the second it emerges from inside the shell? Well, that's where we've turned to Prime Superior and the fungi known as Bouveria bassiana. It basically makes spores that, 
when landed on or ingested by bugs, germinates and eats away at its host. Ingested by bugs, germinates and eats away at its host till it dies a few days later. If you haven't watched our initial video on this, we'll link it below for people who want to check it out more. But we have a much more detailed episode coming out on the product and exactly how it works later this month. The video we do have today will show you good enough for now, but the fungi essentially then uses the bug's corpse as a food source to grow, further colonize, and spread even more of those protective bug killing spores. Getting into all this has been more than fascinating for us, but we've already learned one key thing. And actually, it's what this episode is all about. The one thing you need to know about all IPMs. So, what do you think it is? Pause this video right now because I'm about to drop it anyway. But let us know what you think it could be before you hear it. But here we go. So pause it before it's too late. It's the simple fact that you must remain consistent. Simply put, follow the instructions to the letter and do as it says. If it says spray the plant daily for a week if you see an infestation, then do that. Don't quit on day five just to find the colony has survived, kicked back up, and is causing more damage. It's not worth it. Shortcuts don't work, so don't be lazy. If you care about the overall well-being of the plant, take it as seriously as they need you to. For us, it's the BTI. It's the spore-releasing bacteria that eats soil dwelling larvae from the inside. We noticed crazy results after just one treatment. But what did we just say? You have to be consistent! Instructions say water in the soil, drench at a rate of one quarter cup or four tablespoons of mosquito bits per gallon of water weekly <laughs> for three weeks. So plants look much better, it doesn't matter. They say three weeks. This bacteria can't hurt the plant if we use too much. So we guarantee every one of those larvae dead and can't come back or infest future pots. And boom, we'll be officially off to the races. Between getting rid of the pests that are stressing out our plants and turning down the lights that were stressing them out on top of it all, we're hoping for some pretty happy plants. But that is the end of our footage for this week. Keep an eye out for that in-depth look at Prime Superior and how the fungi Bovaria bassiana works. And until then, keep learning, keep growing. Catch, Catch you later, later guys. guys. Thank you.